Hello and welcome back. We are going to do a, a small challenge for you today based on structures. So your challenge is simply this. You are to design and make the tallest possible structure using a set of materials around your home. So we're going to show you how you might start uh, designing your structure and what key principles you need to include. So here's a structure we've made earlier and as you can see it's a combination of three dimensional shapes. So we did lots of investigation work before we come up with this idea and we explored 2D shape and 3D shape and then we looked and explored at how we can combine those shapes to create a three dimensional structure that stands on its own. So we haven't yet come up with a solution to join the shapes so this is our first prototype. So there's our idea. We are going to just talk you through some rules and the judging criteria because we need to make sure it's a fair test. And we are going to set this as a competition. Now, we would like you to submit your entries either as a video or as a photograph and we will be giving away £25 Amazon voucher to the winning entry. So we'd encourage you all to get involved. So have a listen to the rules and then we'll talk you through how to start designing your structure. So the structures challenge will involve you designing and making a uh, freestanding tallest structure. We need you to have fun, explore, experiment, be confident, don't be afraid if it goes wrong. Remember the next mistake could be the next big idea. Now all of my STEM stars are very used to exploring and experimenting and they're very used to uh, things going wrong but they overcome them by trying again and improving on their last idea. Now you are making the, you are designing and making the tallest freestanding structure and you can use a choice of materials in and around your home. So a structure is an object constructed from several parts. There are three types of structures. We have frame structures that are made from separate members. And then there are shell structures that which enclose or contain its content, similar to the um, Sydney Opera House. And then there are solid structures where the most of this structure or the entire structure is made of matter. So today we're going to explore frame structures. Now when we judge the creation of the tallest freestanding frame structure, we are looking for not only the overall height, we are going to award points for when we judge quality of engineering. So Yours might not be as tall as the next competitor, but you may have demonstrated very good measuring and cutting and joining techniques. You may have demonstrated a good understanding for shape and measure. You may also have come up with a really innovative, innovative design. So we're looking for all of those things as well as height. Then we're looking to see how much material you, you have used and we would like you to calculate the cost. So to give you an idea, what we've done is we've put a cost to each material that you can use in this challenge. So if you're using paper straws, they'll be 50p each. If you haven't got paper straws and you want to create a paper straw out of paper, that is the same cost. If you want to use card for, to reinforce any of your corners of your frame structure, it's one pound per sheet. If in any part of your structure you feel there might be a need to uh, use string in a, a creative way, it's one pound per 50 centimetres. If you have access to a glue gun, the stakes are high, it's 50p per use. Masking tape is one pound per 50 centimetres. The same as sellotape and paper is 50p a sheet. Skewers are one pound each, elastic bands are 50p each and lollipop sticks are 50p each. Now, if there's any other materials in around the home that you might want to use, just liken those materials to the materials on this sheet and use those costings. So, to submit your entries, 
you can either send us an image, a series of images or a video and we'd like you to send uh, these submissions to the following email. So inquiries at the stemworkshop.co.uk. As part of that entry, we want to know how tall your structure is and you may want to explain how you've met all of that criteria. Now the deadline for the entries um, is Friday the 29th of May and the winning entry will be announced on Monday the 1st of June and we will do that on all of our social media accounts. Now the prize for the winning entry will be £25 Amazon voucher and we wish you luck and hope you have a happy time exploring and experimenting. We're going to just quickly talk you through how to use your understanding of shape in order to formulate your idea for your freestanding structure. Okay, so what we're going to look at before we start designing our structure is shape. Now every structure, a structure is something that is three dimensional. So the rule is you can only use materials in lengths that are not yet a structure. Okay, so you can't use three dimensional bottles to build your structure, it has to be lengths. Now the type of structure we want you to design and build is a frame structure. So that means you can put your hand in and around the structure. It's hollow inside, okay, but you can actually see through it. So it's parts that are joined together within the corners. Before you start designing, you need to start exploring and thinking about what you already understand about shape. So here's some shapes that we've created earlier using a choice of materials that you might have around your home. So we've made lots of different shapes out of different materials. We've used lollipop sticks, which you can collect by eating lots of lollies. We've used spaghetti, okay, which is a really good material for modelling, but be careful because it does break very easily. We've used paper straws, which you may not have paper straws in your home, but did you know you can actually create a paper straw using a sheet of paper? All you need to do is take a sheet of paper and roll it around something cylindrical, tape it, and you've got yourself a paper straw. So you can make paper straws. And the other material that we've used is skewers. And I, there we go. Skewers. Okay, so kebab skewers, wooden kebab skewers. So you can use any of those materials, but you need to think about what 2D shapes are the strongest. So we have built lots of shapes. Okay, so here we've got a square. Now that is not a structure on its own, it needs to be three dimensional, but it might be a good idea to build different shapes. And as you can see here, we've reinforced the shape in the corners just using some triangles made out of cardboard. But what's really important when you're designing and making a structure is that your shapes are measured correctly. So we know this is a square because it has four sides and each length is exactly the same. So it's really important that when you're making your shapes that you use your ruler to measure each length so it is exact. And when you glue them, you have to carefully glue them so they're exact. Really important. So here we've made lots of different shapes and combined them. Now you'll notice this has been uh, connected using a glue gun. If you haven't got a glue gun at home, that's not a problem. You can just use ordinary tape on the corners. Okay, so we've got a square made out of kebab skewers, we've got one here made out of uh, lollipop sticks and it's really good to make the shapes out of these materials to test their strength. We've got one made out of paper straws and as you can see there's a lot of twisting going on there. Now when you're making a structure you need to think about the certain forces. There's a certain force called push and pull and twist. Okay, so you've got to test your shapes. Now this one here has been made out of spaghetti and you can tell with spaghetti it's not quite as strong. So those are the different shapes. We then 
moved on from squares and made some triangles. Same principle. And I can test that triangle to test how strong it is when I pull it. Ooh. And when I push it. And when I twist it. And as you can see, the spaghetti breaks very, very easily. So here we've got lollipop sticks and a triangle. And I can check how strong that is. Actually, that is really quite strong. And what about the paper straw? That's quite strong. So use this activity, building shapes, to really work out what shape is the strongest. Okay, what's the strongest when I pull it, when I push it, and when I twist it? So use this investigation to explore with different materials and explore forces. Here we have some rectangles made up using all of these materials. So that is you exploring 2D shapes. So before you start designing your freestanding structure, think about what shape is the strongest, what material is the strongest and most efficient for my structure. Okay, now that we've had a little think about 2D shape, we now want to make a freestanding structure. So think about before you start building, and remember you need to build with accuracy and precision. Before you start building, think about different three-dimensional shapes. So let's take a square. To make that three-dimensional, we need to start to build upwards. So the first shape, which is a square, we have turned into a 3D shape and the 3D shape here is a cube and we know it's a cube because each face is exactly the same size. So you could build a cube and think about that but is a cube the strongest when I push it and when I pull it and when I twist it? So there we've got a cube. Now this activity is actually really, really good for you to um, reinforce what you understand about shape and your math. So it's a really good activity you can incorporate as part of your maths lesson. So that shape here is a cube. We've then taken the square base and we've created triangles as our sides. So that is a square based pyramid. We could have done a different 3D shape and we could have created the same thing but created a, a triangular based pyramid and we could have created a similar shape. Okay, And here's one I've actually made earlier. Okay, So that's a triangle base. And then using the triangle again, so we've got a triangular based pyramid, we've then used the triangle here and at the other side to create a triangular prism. A prism is when the same shape follows that 3D structure all the way through. So it's the same shape at the front as it is at the back. So a triangular um, prism. And then here we've got a rectangle. And we can create lots of shapes from a rectangle. And the shape that we've created here is a cuboid. And you can see this one's been made out of spaghetti. Okay, so you need to explore different three dimensional shapes to think about what sort of 3D shapes might you use in your structure?